Hey everyone, my name is Taylor Hazleton. Today I'll be going through my step-by-step -step process when I'm creating low content books. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really means so much to me and I truly appreciate all of the support from you guys. Alright, let's get started. So first you're going to want to pick what book you're actually going to make and in order to do that, you're going to need to do some research. So what I do is I go to Amazon.com and I'll just think of something randomly. There are so many different ways that you can do niche research, but this way for me seems to be my go-to. So for today, I already did some research, but I'm going to type in Panda Composition Notebook because I'm going to be making a Panda Composition Notebook wide ruled uh, to show you guys today. So I'm just going to click on this top search result. And as you can see, there are only 405 results. Now that is really good. You want to try and find search results that are under 1,000 or that aren't as competitive, maybe 2,000. That way you have a better chance of getting your book out there. I'm not saying that you can't pick a competitive niche or competitive search results. It just might make it a bit harder for you to make sales. And you can go down the line and different ones. So I'm going to hit Panda Composition Notebook wide ruled and 9,000 results come up. So this does have more, but since the original search result didn't have a lot, I'm going to make one anyways, and I really love pandas, so why not? So the next thing you're going to want to do is figure out your cover. You can do your interior first if you want, but today I'm going to be doing the cover first. So you can go to the KDP Amazon cover calculator and type in exactly what you want your book to be and it will calculate all the measurements for you. I show you the step-by-step -step on how to do this in another video, so I'm not going to go all the way through it, as I do have a template that I'm also giving away for free down in the description, so you don't even have to do this if you're going to be making a book of the same size and dimensions that I'm going to be making here. So I am creating a 7.5 inches by 9.25 inches composition notebook. And again, the template is going to be listed in the description below, so you don't even have to create it on your own. But if you do, go ahead and watch my other video. Um, I am going to show you briefly here. You would go to canva.com, unless you use a different platform, create a design, custom size, and you'd want to change it to inches and then type in the 7.5 inches by 9.25. Um, that actually you would want to do the correct cover sizes for that size. So the cover calculator would have it for you. Um, I have it preset here, but we already have it made, so I'm not going to do it. But I believe the dimensions would be the 15.7 inches by the 9.5 inches. If you're making a different size notebook, then you're going to want to get those dimensions from the KDP cover calculator. So here is the template that I have in the description below for free. Feel free to use it if you'd like. If not, go ahead and watch my previous video to learn how to make it on your own. And I'm just going to verify the size I have. Yep, 15.7 at 9.5. So we want to make a panda notebook. I'm going to change the background. I want a more brighter color. I'm going to change it to this bright teal. And I'm going to head over to elements and type in panda because pandas are just so cute. Well, this one's adorable. There's honestly so many. I'm just going to hit this one. Actually, I changed my mind. I am so indecisive sometimes when it comes to pandas. I'm going to use this one since I did create a notebook earlier. So that way I was more prepared for this video. And I'm just going to create a very simple design. So in order to get the alternating pattern for animals on notebooks, not sure if you know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you in a second. I line them up how I want and then I keep duplicating them and grouping them together until I have enough to go all the way across the entire book. There may be a simpler way to do this, but using Canva, this is the only way I've found to be really successful and relatively easy and I can pick exactly where I want them and how I want them. So I'm just going to keep doing this and then I would go down the entire notebook, how I want them lined up. I also want to add some hearts here. The great thing about Canva is they have so many free elements. You can expand these. I'm going to move it to the back. I'm going to move these to the back. 
and I would just keep going down the line. I did pre-make this notebook so you guys don't have to watch this the whole time, so I'm going to move over to the notebook I already have completed. So here's the finished product for the notebook. As you can see, it's just a bunch of pandas with hearts. I have a teal color. I honestly feel like it's super, super cute. I could even change the spine here if I want to. I could change it to this pink cover or I could keep it black. I think I actually am going to change it to the pink because I think it'll have the pandas pop a bit more and it matches the heart colors that are on the background. So next I'm going to hit download, change to a PDF, and then download and it will go into my most recently downloaded files, which is great. We're going to need that. So the next piece that you're going to want for your notebook is an interior, which I do also have a video on how to make your own. But if you're looking to have a template already, I am giving that away as well in the description and that will be on Gumroad. Here is what it will look like. It's a wide ruled 200 page interior for 7.5 inches by 9.25 inches. You do not have to pay. Paying is optional. You can put zero in here and hit I want this and it will send you a free PDF download that you can use for your own composition notebooks. So I already have that pre-saved to my computer so I'm not going to do that. So now that I have the cover and my interior, I'm going to want to upload my book. So I'm going to go to KDP, Direct Publishing, log in real quick, since it logged me out, of course, and I'm going to want to create a new book. So first, I'm going to type in the book title, which is just going to be a composition notebook. You want to make sure there are words on your notebook, either on the cover or the spine, because KDP is really strict on what you write down for your book title. And if it's not on the cover, you can get flagged and have your account possibly terminated. So definitely please be careful of that. The notebook cover I have says composition notebook and some other words on it, but that's all I'm going to say right there. For subtitle, I'm going to add um, pandas, hearts, I'm going to add 200 pages, wide ruled for girls, women, um, kids, back to school. You can add whatever you would like in here. Try not to make it too long. Um, Amazon did say or release some sort of data saying that people don't tend to like long worded titles, so I'm going to keep it relatively short. So this is not a series. I'm not going to add any edition number for author. I'm just going to put my name. You can have pen names or put whatever you would like. Just make sure whatever you do use that it is not copyrighted. No additional contributor. So for description, you can put whatever you would like here. I'm going to add a short summary of the book and then add some features, but please try to make this your own. It's best not to try and copy other accounts. I know that does happen, but definitely be inspired and take ideas from other people and just make it your own. So for this, I'm going to say looking for an adorable panda notebook for all of your writing needs. This would be perfect. It is sturdy. 200 it is sturdy, it has 200 lined pages, and is super cute. And I'm going to add some features. I'll do panda composition notebook features. And I'm going to bold this. And I'm going to add a, a bulleted list here. And I'm just going to say um, mate cover, because that's what I'm going to select on the next slide. I'm going to say 200 wide ruled pages, super cute, panda cover, great for writing notes, lists, and so much more. You can add even more if you'd like in here, but I'm going to keep it super simple for now. I own the copyright and hold necessary publishing rights. Canva thankfully gives us commercial license, uh, at least for what I used on this cover. So this would be all my work. 
Now for keywords, I do have a YouTube video on this as well if you're looking for a more in-depth explanation. I'm going to be using one of the methods today. And that method is going through Amazon and typing in various searches and picking which ones are the best. So these would be these are lawn worded um, keyword results. This has 20,000 results, so it's really not the best one to use, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. Um, the other keyword method I have is typing in a bunch of words into a keyword organizer, and then it will pretty much make it so that all you have to do is copy and paste it into your keyword search results, which is truly incredible. I think actually I will do half and half for this video just for you to see. I'm not sure what works best, if you should combine them, if you should do them separately or whatnot, but I want to show you guys both ways that I do it. And again, if you want to go into more detail, please check out my other video. So I'm just going to type in keywords that are relating to the book. So white, pink, black, panda, um, I'm going to go with hearts. It has, um, let's see, it could be for children, I'm going to do present, gift, honestly, I love this notebook, it could be for adults as well, women, men, there may be some men out there who really want heart pandas, and that's totally fine, honestly, this could be for anybody, I'm going to change that to kids, school, it could be for work, writing, lists, notes, journaling, you just want to keep uh, labeling things that are related to the notebook and I'm just going to leave it at that. Now for categories you can go to BookBolt Resources KDP Category Finder and it'll help you find categories for the keywords that you have. So if I type in Panda there's nothing there. If I type in Notebook there's also nothing there. Let me type in Mammal. There will be some that show up. So let's see, let's do nonfiction, nature, animals, mammals. We're going to choose categories, nonfiction. Let's scroll down. I'm also going to do language arts and go to composition and creative writing. And make sure that your categories are related to your actual book. It is against the rules to use a category that has nothing to do with your book. Amazon will not be happy with that. You may not get caught, but if you do, then you risk losing your account. So I really don't recommend it. But each to their own, obviously run your business how you feel is best. So I'm going to hit save and continue. And I'll be moving on to the next page. So I always do assign me a free KDP ISBN. It goes into more detail if you click on this, what is an ISBN, learn more. But basically this means Amazon is the only place that can print and publish this book. If you want to do that elsewhere, then you want to use your own ISBN. But personally, I don't. I solely use Amazon KDP right now, so that's what I'm going to do. For publication date, I don't ever set a date. You can if you'd like it to come out on a certain day, but keep in mind, the review time for your books being published can range from a few hours to, honestly, I've had some go over a week before, I believe. So just keep that in mind and get your book out early in case there are any issues. For print options, black and white interior with white paper is what I prefer to do for notebooks. Trim size, we have a 7.5 by 9.25. We're going to want bleed. If you're unsure what bleed is, please check out video on my channel where I go into detail on the differences between the two and how and when you would want to use them. For cover finish, I'm going to do mate. I feel like that is more popular with notebooks. Glossy is more for like kids coloring books and things like that. But honestly, that is personal preference. You can pick whichever you would like. For manuscript, I'm just going to upload that interior that I already have downloaded onto my computer. And that is linked in the description below for free in case you would like to use that in your own notebooks. It's going to take a little bit to upload. So I'm going to scroll down to book cover. You can create your own cover within KDP, but I prefer to create them in Canva. And I'm just going to upload that book cover that we just downloaded not too long ago, the Panda Composition Notebook. And again, it'll take a few minutes to load. So while it's loading, 
I'm just going to think about everything I put on here, make sure I have my keywords right, my descriptions right. I'm going to hit save as draft just to make sure everything saves and looks good. Now this is a personal decision on my part. I like to go back to my bookshelf and just review everything on my first page. So I'll go back, hit continue setup, and I'll glance over everything I wrote in the details section and the book title because once it's in review, you can't edit anything until it's published. And once it's published, there are certain columns you can't edit at all without unpublishing your book or emailing support and seeing if they'll help you. So I just wanna make sure there are no typos, anything like that. I filled in everything that I'm looking to fill in. And I'm just going to go through it, verify that everything I want in here is in here. And so far it looks really good. I have all my categories, I filled in all my keywords, the adult content section is accurate. This doesn't have anything vulgar or not appropriate for children. So then for paperback content, I just made sure everything up here is good and I'll scroll down and hit launch previewer. Now this is where Amazon will tell you if there's anything wrong with your book cover. Pretty much if they find an error in your margins or what you have, then they will light it up in red on this left side. This may take a few minutes to load, but that's okay, it will load, just give it some time. So here's our cover, you can see the margins. I honestly think this looks super cute. Um, everything looks good, all of the pages are here, so I'm going to hit approve. And once you hit approve, then it allows you to move on to the pricing page, which is where you actually price your book and figure out how much money you want to sell it for and how much money you want to make in all of the different countries. So normally I price my books to make a royalty between one and two dollars. You can do whichever you would like. Amazon does give you a minimum, which here you can see it's 542 and max is 250. I don't think I'd ever price a notebook at 250, but who knows? Um, so I'm going to price this one at 749 and see what it comes up with. 124 royalty. That's fine by me. Um, I'm not going to do expanded distribution because it's both at zero and I really don't feel like raising my price anymore just to make some more money. Expanded distribution means that this can be sold in like libraries and other retailers and it can definitely be helpful and add up, but personally, I would rather not raise the cost of my book to be able to make money there. So I'm going to keep this book right where it's at. And you just want to scroll down the countries and make sure that you're making profit in every single one. So for the UK, I'm going to up it a bit because I like that number to be a little bit higher. Um, for here, I'm going to edit it. I'm not super familiar with the average prices in other countries, so honestly, I just guess and update the numbers so that I'm making at least some sort of profit. I don't know all of the conversions. Um, I'm in the United States, so I really just know USD. So now that I'm making money in every single line, I'm just going to hit public, publish your paperback book. And it will save it, and then a little pop-up will come up, and it will say that your book is in review. And honestly, this part is so much fun. Like, I don't like waiting for the books to be published, but it's really nice to feel accomplished when you finally finish uploading your book. And this can take a couple hours to up to a week or even more for them to update this. So don't get nervous if you haven't heard back yet. So I really hope this was helpful. This is how I upload my notebooks, and this is my step-by-step -step process. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. I'm always looking for new suggestions for videos and tutorials as well. Again, your support means so much to me. And I really, truly hope that this was helpful. If you have any other questions, again, please feel free to comment them. I'll do my best to get back to everybody. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.